What's up, clowns? Diecast clown here. Got the coffee. In honor of Danny. So, um, got a few things in the mail this week. Uh, first, from Sir Rat Black, as I like to call him. Uh, sent me a card. Let's open this up. Hey guys, sorry, I'm just, I'm way behind. I don't, I don't have time anymore to do anything. It just, uh, by the time you get done work, you just, you're beat. Let's see what we got here. Hope you're all well on your way to a wonderful Christmas season. Merry Christmas. Darla and James, Mr. Mrs. Rat and Rat Black. Thank you very much, Rat. Greatly appreciate that. I haven't forgotten about you either. I am working on a box for you. It's just everything's this time of year is just busy for everyone. Uh, that's all I'm gonna say. Um what do you guys think of this? One of the uh, one of my favorites is um, the old rusted patina look, and um, I actually gave it a go on my own here. Took this Datsun 510 and uh, gave it a rusted patina look, if you will. Did a wheel swap on it and then clear coated it but um, I didn't want to go too crazy with the rusted look this is the first my first attempt but um, let me know what you guys think um, did I do okay is it horrible um, I like it I don't particularly like the car itself and that's probably why I chose this one uh, to be my first attempt. Not a huge uh, Rotson fan, if you will. But uh, let me know what you guys think. I think it turned out pretty well, but um, that's just me. <sighs> that coffee's good. I'm not even supposed to be drinking coffee. <laughs> Uh, up next, I got a mail call from Mr. President. Yeah. Let's see what we got here, guys. see what he said at the end thanks for being a real person and friend a lot of fakes out here guys I'll just say that um, don't get scammed uh, a lot of us are getting scammed here this time of year and don't fall for their lame-ass excuses oh wow wow oh. first we got the 2022 red line 20th anniversary edition Camaro that is beautiful now I'm not gonna lie I watched your video yesterday and heard that yours is kind of hanging out somewhere here in PA and uh, if you do not get it I'm gonna send this back to you it's just right the right thing to do um, oh man, I greatly appreciate it. This is phenomenal. I can't even believe you would do this for me. I saw your video, um, that you sent one, the, um, chase piece to old man diecast, but I am very grateful 
for this. Very, very grateful. It's the 20th anniversary of the Red Line Club. The custom Camaro. Just gorgeous. Thank you very much, Mr. President. Up next. Oh, man. This guy is just unbelievable. He really is. And there's there's so many reasons why I started calling him the president in the first place. But uh, look at this, guys. Look at this. This 1955 Chevy Bel Air Gasser, Triassic 5, Brendan Matuskey's vehicle. Now, over my right shoulder here, I happen to have the main line. Uh, I didn't ever think that I would be able to come across this. Actually, I figured if I did come across it, it would be at one of the car shows that uh, Danny and I usually go to, and I would pay an arm and a leg for it. And normally I don't like to pay up the scalper prices, but um, this is probably one I would have picked up. And to have Mr. President just send it to me. It's just, you just made my day. It's unbelievable. This community is probably one of the best things I've ever done in my life. I overpaid $2.94 a piece for these Hot Wheels 70th anniversary of the Corvette. Now, I wasn't able to get all of them, and had I known the price before I got up to the register and started scanning, I would have put them all back. But uh, number one of eight, the 1955 Corvette. Just a beautiful casting. But at 294 a piece, nah, Hot Wheels, you can go pound sand. But uh, you got me, let's just say that. You got me. Um, the only one I wasn't able to get in this series was um, number four. And it was there, but somebody had stolen it. So it was just a, uh, the card itself. Up next, the uh, 1959 Corvette Stingray, number two of eight in the series. Number 70 in the meatball on the door panel and on the hood. Yeah, unfortunately, like I said this this one this Corvette here. The uh, 1969 Corvette was the only one that I wasn't able to grab. Like I said, it was there, somebody had stolen it. Up next, the 1964 Corvette Stingray. Um, I believe this is a factory color for that year on the Stingray. Um, hopefully somebody in the comments will be able to verify that for me. But um, I do like this one. It could use some tail lights. It is nice. 294 guys 294 for what I don't know okay so like I said number four is the only one I didn't get so up next would be number five the 1997 Corvette very nice I do like this one I like it I like all these actually to be honest with you it's just I don't agree with the price Up next, we got number six of eight, the C6 Corvette in black with uh, red stripes. Red? Oh, I'm sorry, they're orange. I can't see anymore, guys. It sucks getting old, it really does. Wake up in the morning, everything hurts. You go to bed, everything hurts. 
<laughs> These are nice, but like I said, I just don't agree with the price. These are scalper prices. Up next, uh, number seven of eight, the 2019 Corvette ZR1 convertible. I do like this one. This is uh, probably one of my favorites. And last but not least, you got the 2020 Corvette C8R. Yeah, I didn't like these C8Rs when they first came out, but I'll be damned if they aren't growing on me. I think I told you guys in a video, a couple videos ago, a friend of mine uh, recently purchased one. And uh, he's, he's got the Stingray. He, his is actually 2022. Uh, his is a Stingray version. And uh, it's probably the nicest car I've ever driven in my entire life. This is gorgeous. But yeah, um, if you would, guys, let me know what you think of uh, my custom Rotson. My first attempt at a patina look, and uh, I like it. I think it turned out pretty well. Like I said, I didn't want to go too crazy with the rusted look, but um, I think it turned out pretty well. I enjoy doing it. I had to readjust the camera here for uh, these next two. Um, everybody's already seen this, but it's the first I've seen it in my area. Um, Hot Wheels premium set fleet flyer 2016 BMW M2 BMW M3 E46 and the 2001 BMW M5 E39 um, really been wanting this set and for whatever reason it just never hit my area um, see most people almost a year ago with this but like I said it finally hit my area I'm guessing they just been holding on to it and um, had it back in the storage area and released it for Christmas for whatever reason but yeah I was pretty excited to finally get this and also the only other one that they had on the shelf and this is one I've never even seen on anyone's channel or anywhere. Um, Hot Wheels premium set with the Fleet Street 1991 Nissan Sentra SER, the Honda Civic EG, and the 1995 Toyota Celica GT4. Um, like I said, I haven't seen that, this set on anyone's channel as of yet and this is uh, a 2022 release does say it on the, on the back here if I can get this yeah right here 2022 I'll tell but yeah like I said I, I have yet to see it on anyone's channel I do like it. It's nice. So, in closing, guys, I would just like to thank Mr. Rat Black for uh, the card and 
Mr. President for the cars. Peace out, Clown Nation.